Delighted to be able to report that the weather has cooperated here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal and they face Brentford. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Martin Odegaard, number 34, Granit Xhaka. Good. Good luck. And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Thomas Strakosha gets the nod between the posts. Ben Mee plays alongside Zanka in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you for attending the Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the match. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, a brace last time out, but no real surprise that we're focusing on him. It was his movement for me, always active, always trying to find that yard of space, and I expect we'll see the same again today. Well, the perfect tackle, really, and now a throw-in. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress, but quick thinking defensively. Can they be creative from here? Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. We're making high pressing work for them here. Can he find the net? And the keeper had the measure of it. And they're trying to get right into his face. Oh, in with a chance! A goal! 1 0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. And underway again, Arsenal other side in front. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And a goal at the second time of asking, but the keeper has let his team down.
Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Damsgaard. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Read it superbly to take back possession. And played the pass well. And options in the centre. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Arsenal have given it away. Jensen, delightful pass. Timely intervention. And very deftly cut out. Now, who can he play it to? And he's through here. Will he? Still alive. And I think the threat has been averted. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Well, they can't exhale just yet. Here they come again. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Well, not a great challenge. Free kick here. Ayer. Well, possibilities inside the box. Inside he goes. Must be brilliantly blocked. So half time, that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. Well, Gabriel Jesus can lead the line with the best of them. All his qualities on display in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And of course, he scored a very good goal. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And unable to keep possession. Now, can they create something? Gabriel Jesus! Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And what a clinical finish this is from Jesus. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Couldn't quite find his teammate. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Great effort to keep that one in play. Extremely sloppy in possession.
and sloppy in possession from Brentford. And time for the change now. Christian Nurgard, Frank Onyeka, Mbermo. Really vital interception here. Alexander Zinchenko. He thwarted the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Brentford taking on Chelsea. Gabriel Martinelli. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Plenty of support here. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, he didn't miss by much. Well, it was struck well, but he'll be disappointed not to test the keeper. It really did open up for him there. Off the pitch, number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Coming onto the pitch, number 14, Andy Nketiah. Ayer. And Brentford come away with it. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, there's no getting away from it. Arsenal are cruising, Stuart. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Oh, good-looking run. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, not hard to read that pass. Giving it a try. And throwing himself up the ball. And they will make the change now. Number 16, Ben Mee, to be replaced by number 5, Ethan Pinnock. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 8, Martin Odegaard, to be replaced by number 5, Thomas Barton. Over it comes. Struggling to get it away. Has a go. Very much run of the mill as saves go. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order.
Christian Nurgard. And saved by the keeper. Now sending it in. And he clears the danger. So there goes the final whistle. It ends at a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, very hard to keep quiet, as is often the case. Gabriel Jesus, interested to get your verdict. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.